Welcome to Grass 2021. Our Grass verse of the week is Hebrews 13, verse 5. And it is, let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. It's midday, and you're getting drowsy. You can barely keep your eyes open. Your coffee meter is definitely running on empty. You still have work to do. You need your intellectual capacities fully charged to complete your very important work. You gotta wake up. It's time for a jaunt to the neighborhood coffee shop. You grab your scarf, you jump on your scooter, and you putter down the street. You arrive at the store. You gaze at the festive colors. You inhale the chocolatey, nutty, earthy, citrusy scent of roasted java beans. And you're feeling better already. Now there's a lot of people sitting at the cafe today. You don't know how the drive through is, but the line inside is not too big. It shouldn't take too long for a pumpkin spice latte right? You order at the counter. You tell them your name. You fork over your life savings. And then you pounce on an empty easy chair and patiently wait for your wake-up elixir. The seconds turn into minutes as you wait. Okay, maybe they are a little busy. Uh, I'm sure they didn't forget about you. Surely not. You wait longer. 15 more minutes, 25 minutes, and now you're starting to wonder, are all these people drinking coffee except you? Oh, wait, that guy, he just walked in, and they called his name, and he has his pumpkin spice latte, and you don't. Did the coffee shop forget about you? How could they forsake you like that? They called everyone's name except for yours. They forgot about you. Our grass verse of the week, Hebrews 13, verse 5, is built upon a wonderful promise of God. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Wow, what a promise to grab a hold of. I will never leave you or forsake you. People may leave you. Coffee shops may abandon you. But God will never leave or forsake you. God has not forgotten you. The last portion of our grass verse is taken from another verse in the Bible. We don't really know what verse it comes from because there are so many similar verses. It could possibly be Genesis chapter 28, verse 15, which says, And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Or it could be Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, which says, For the Lord thy God, he it is that goeth with thee, and he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Or maybe it's Joshua 1, 5, which says, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Or maybe it's verse Chronicles 28, verse 20. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. So which verse it is it? It really doesn't matter because this is a continual theme throughout Scripture. There's many verses and incidents in the Bible that show that God will not leave us and He will not forsake us. We can trust in this fact that God cares about us and He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. Because we know that God will not leave us or forsake us, we don't have to covet the things of this world. To covet means to desire the things that are not yours. We shouldn't have greed for the things of this world. Instead of coveting, instead of having greed, we should be trusting of the God that will provide for us, of the God that has not forgotten us, of the God who has not abandoned us. He, we know that He will provide for us because He will never leave us or forsake us. If you really need some of those things that you do need, 
then God will give those things to you. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. If we are in want, we can be content because we know that God is with us every step of the way and will provide for us and will help us. If we, our needs are satisfied and we are not in, in want, then we should be thankful and content that God has provided for us. The Apostle Paul said that he had learned to be content in every situation. Philippians 4.11 says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Now Paul had been treated poorly and he'd been treated well. He'd been full and he'd been hungry. He'd been prosperous and he'd been impoverished. And yet he could be content because God would give him the grace to get through whatever situation life threw his way. He knew that God would never leave him or forsake him. He could be content. Contentment means satisfied or fulfilled. Like Paul, we must learn to be satisfied and trust in the Lord no matter what situation may come our way. Paul writes in 1 Timothy 6, verses 6 through 8, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us therewith be therewith content. God will never leave us or forsake us. We may leave Him, We may forsake Him, and that could cause us to become a need. But if we are in God's will and in His purpose, all things will work together for good. Godliness with contentment is great gain. The verse following our grass verse, Hebrews 13, 6 says, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. This is a quotation of Psalm 118, verse 6. We can boldly affirm that God is our helper. The Lord is on our side. If God be for us, who can be against us? He loves us. He will not abandon us or forsake us. Therefore, we can be satisfied and have the victory through any circumstance that life may bring our way. Our song of the week is, His eye is on the sparrow. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. For his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let's pray together about this verse. Jesus, we are so thankful that you will never leave us or forsake us. Lord, we trust you and believe you. We surrender to your will and purpose, knowing that you will keep your promises to us. Walk with us, Lord, as we go through this life. Help us not to be covetous. Help us not to desire worldly possessions, but to long for your presence. Help us to be content, to be trusting of you, and to be satisfied in you. Let your peace, your joy Your love, your presence fill our lives today. Let your will be done in our lives, God. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good to us. He will never leave us or forsake us. Therefore, we can be content in any situation that life may throw at us. (music) 